As the city works to revitalize the 18th and Vine District, two new businesses are now popping up. 41 Action News reporter Lisa Benson joins us live now from that area right now where an open house is underway for one of those businesses. Lisa. That's right, Mike and Randy, you can take a look and see they have a full crowd here at this brand new barbershop. And we talked to the new business owner. He tells us he is honored to be a part of transforming Kansas City's Jazz District. This is display space, you know, we're going to be hanging these. Ronald Cheney owns Ethnic Art Gallery on 18th and Vine. Tonight he's having his soft opening. He plans to showcase local artists and inspire others. I worked in school district for 10 years and I would see kids doodling. You know, they love to draw, they love art, but there's nothing readily available where they can see themselves in, in longevity, doing something that they love to do anyway. He's one of two business owners showcasing their vision tonight in the Jazz District. Armand Lasker owns Director's Cut Barbershop. So that, that automatically places them in the Super Bowl? His previous shop on 103rd flooded. A few pieces here and there we were able to salvage, but for the most part, to lose everything, I didn't want to go through that again. So it was just, it was, you know, we just decided to move and we found a great location. Uh, window front property. In 2016, the city allocated $7 million to transform the Jazz District into a mixed use entertainment and residential district. The project includes an outdoor amphitheater and new 18th Street retail apartments, plans that will help these entrepreneurs achieve their goals. Over the years, I've kind of watched the area grow to the point to where I wanted to get back here. The district, they're doing a lot of things in an area, so I know there'll be more people coming down here to the area, so we'll need more barbers. But, I mean, that's pretty much it. We're just really just trying to grow. Now, 75% of the Phase 1 project here in the 18th and Vine District should be complete by the spring of next year. Reporting live, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.